I said I was going to do a simple look. And look at me. Okay guys, hello, welcome back. So if you read the title of this video, then you know what this is going to be about. But I am once again going to be painting my head and I'm going to be using a very special little bottle. I'm going to be using the Uberless Bond Sustainer Color. If you don't know what Uberless is, Uberless is a new company that I've discovered recently and not, not sponsored ever. I mean, who would want to sponsor me if I'm being honest? Now, on their website, it says Uber equals super and Liss equals smooth, so Uber Liss. Uber Liss delivers amazing shine, softness, and silkiness while showcasing exotic natural ingredients while f ingredients found indigenously throughout the world. Uber Liss is cruelty-free. They do not test on animals, and, you know, they have, like, a whole website. They have keratin treatments, stuff like that. So this is supposed to be a color that's really good for your hair, which is part of the reason why it intrigued me, I'll be honest. But Uberless is a company that does bond sustaining things for your hair. So their whole thing is just hair care. They have a bond sustainer that you mix in with bleach. Now that is only for salon professionals. The bond sustainer color, however, has their bond sustainer treatment in it and that is for everyone to purchase and try out. They were doing a little sale bundle thing so I ended up getting three. I got that one, the bond sustainer in purple iris and then a toner bond sustainer. I ended up giving that one to a friend who needed the toning just a bit more than I did so I won't be trying that one out until I order another one. I'm gonna see how this goes. Now, my hair is not the healthiest hair in the world. It is pretty healthy considering how light it is, considering how much I've put it through. If you go back my last two videos with my hair color, I'll link those in the description down below. But I had a, I've had a dark purple color from Lunar Tides, and I think Lunar Tides is about really what I use on my hair and I thought I'd branch out a little bit by trying Uberless. So these dyes are I believe $29.99 each. Don't, don't, don't freak out on me. Trust me. When I saw that price tag I was a little hesitant because like I said it is not sponsored. They do not uh, send these to me for free. I know there's some videos on YouTube with people using this color where they got sent it. I bought it on my own because I did want to try it and I wanted to showcase it for you guys. I believe that right now they still have this offer up, but you buy three Bond Sustainer colors for, I believe, $39.99, so $40. If each one is $30 themselves, so $30, $30, $30, that would really add up to like 90, almost $90 and you pay only 40. So to me, that's really, really good. They are a standard three ounce for most hair dyes. They don't just do hair dye. They have keratin treatments. They have smoothing oils. I did get a few of those things with it, like little sample things of other stuff that they have. So a shampoo, conditioner, a little smoother, Ritu oil that you use in your hair. I ended up not wanting to kind of use those in this video. But I feel like I want to do, I want to get them for myself at like all the other products and then do a separate video for that one. So just, just doing the three colors. Uh, it gives you more of a variety as well. So if you want to pick three of the same, if you want to get th three different colors, then you can do that. So And then there was a cute little sticker sheet uh, but it's this cute little sticker sheet. I thought this was really adorable. So the directions on the bottle says bleach hair for maximum vibrancy. Of course, this isn't one that I believe is going to work on dark hair. Direct dye, apply on clean, dry hair 
Massage the bond to center color evenly for maximum intensity vibrancy leave in for 30 minutes. And then it says for color maintenance, shampoo hair, rinse and towel dry, apply bond to center color and leave in for 20 minutes, rinse and style as desired, results intensify with each use, results may vary, wash hands with soap and water after use. So you can use this on dry or damp hair. So you can use this as a direct dye on dry hair or you can use this as a color refresher when you wash your hair and get out of the shower. Sadly, I won't be able to do that part because I only got one of each color. If this works out, I will probably, most likely, buy a few more colors. There's a really pretty peach color that they have that I just, I want to use so bad. The smell of it is like, I don't know how to describe it. It almost smells like a, like a candy that I can't really place. It smells really, really good though. I did kind of my research or looked up videos of people using the Uberless colors. I know that this is more of a sticky consistency, sticky thick consistency, so I don't think I'm going to be using a brush today. I'm just going to be using my hands, well, my gloved hands, and just putting it on my head. And I guess I'll see how long I leave it on for. The purple iris color looks really, really beautiful. It almost looks like a magenta -y. You see how thick that is? It almost looks like a magenta pinky purple color, which I didn't expect from looking at it online, but oh my god, look at that. No brush needed. Without further ado, enjoy some music. color on my hair uh, of the lilac color the one that I use the most of I still have about a little less than half of the bottle left I got scared midway and I added a little bits of purple iris to it so if you notice a little bit of a pinkier tone a little bit of a darker color and mixed in there it's because I did add a little bit of it just because I was a bit scared I wouldn't have enough but um, that that's I, I, I probably would have had enough what well, says for maximum intensity vibrancy leave in for 30 minutes I think I am going to leave this on for maybe about 45 minutes to an hour maybe very good note to make it is very sticky oh my god so it's all over my pants it was on my phone it was on my bed it just got everywhere because when you put it in between your hands and you pull your hands apart geez it gets everywhere it's almost like sticky little fibers it comes off pretty easy. My phone is white and it didn't really stain it at all. So I'm just going to leave this on for about 30, 45 minutes ish. Uh, rinse it out, style it, and I will come back to show you the final result. All right, I am back. My hair is completely washed, blow dried, straightened, you know, all that jazz. This is what the color turned out to be. It ended up being a lot more pinky than I would have wanted, but it is still a really, really pretty color and my hair was very, very soft, especially when I was washing it out, like washing out the dye in the shower. Like my hair is really, really soft. 
it did do something for my ends. They might look a little frayed, but that's because technically my hair is curly, so I straighten it in order to get it this way. So that, of course, requires heat. So that's not due to the product or like to really gauge like how damaged my hair is. That's just my hair because naturally it's not supposed to be straight. But anyway, I do really, really like it. I think that I wanna try more colors from them, more specifically the peachy color that I saw and then maybe one of the blues, one that's not too green undertoned. I, I do recommend this if you're looking for a color and you're also looking for something that will help out your hair. I really do suggest Uberless because to be honest, my hair wasn't all that damaged before I put the dye on but it really only feels better now that I have so it it really just it really helps as far as like how their bond treatment works and then as far as the color I mean it's pretty even uh, usually my hair doesn't look all too even all throughout especially considering the before where my hair was different shades of blonde and silver and things like that and the color came out pretty even so that's always a plus even my bangs got dyed at the little tips i really only like streaked through it and it got on there so i think that's pretty good that there concludes another one of my dying hair chronicles and I will probably be back in another month or two with another one so until next time bye guys